trying out a new technique, I always buy usually an inexpensive canvas because I want to see how the paint's going to move, how the colors are going to combine, how the consistency works. So you can imagine when the Rijks Museum called the other day and said, hey, Tiffany, we heard that you're creating like a new works and we would love to exhibit them in our museum. Please let us know as soon as you have some paintings ready. <laughs> you can imagine how disappointed I was when uh, my cheap little canvas got the wavy wave going. And I always check prior to actually painting to make sure it's as tight as a drum and it was. And yet here we are, meet me down on the canvas. I'll do a little quick painty paint. Then I'm gonna show you the dried result and what happened to the canvas. And then together, we're going to see if we can fix it. So I can send this over to the Rikes Museum because I know that they're waiting with bated breath. Anyway, as always, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany Romine and I'll see you down on the canvas and then I'll see you back at the table and we'll try to fix this thing. So let's just talk about this technique a little bit. So what you saw, I laid down the colors in a bit of a chaos -y style, and then I used a pewter metallic to do like the swipe over. I used uh, a plastic file folder just because, you know, I like to be able to see the paint when I'm actually putting it down as opposed to the paper towel. And I also find the damp paper towel picks up just too much paint and I end up scraping the canvas a little bit. I guess maybe my technique's not as good as Kathleen over at Cause Creations, but you know, it is what it is. And then what I find really cool though is, as you saw, I laid down the little puddle and then when you blow out with the straw, and I haven't tried anything more powerful as of yet, it exposes the cool colors that are underneath. So then you can create like a design in your painting. And I think that's really, like, I guess what I love about this the most. And of course, and now you see, it doesn't really matter how you blow out. Like you don't have to be perfect because I just take a kebab skewer 
and I dip it into my paint and then I create the little lines and the petals like I define, I guess is what I'm trying to say, the lines and the petals of my little flowers. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna try this technique on maybe something other than a flower. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a butterfly, so stay tuned. Um, yeah, so this is me just kind of experimenting and pressing with the technique to see what all the possibilities are. And I hope you're liking this so far. And if you are liking my content, please like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And when we're done painting, uh, again, just a reminder, I'm going to show you how I'm going to tighten this canvas because with the cheap canvas, the weight of the paint and the moisture, uh, it started to just kind of bubble and wonk and it looked horrible and I couldn't really do anything with it. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. Uh, ciao for now and I'll chat with you at the end when we try to fix this canvas. my little painty paint and here's what happened when it dried so here's the cute little canvas and you can see all the the lumps and bumps yeah mm -hmm. pretty huh I wonder if I can get it over on this camera hold on a sec oh can you see it yeah see oh look at that and that shit yeah uh-huh so it's kind of cute though right like you know what if I was going to make um I don't know like a pillow or I have a little print made or whatever I wanted to do with this. A, I can't even get a decent picture because it's warped and the light's gonna reflect off of it. But, or if I just wanted to hang it as it is, I'm like, well, I can't really use it. It's kind of sad. Let's hope this works. We're gonna flip it upside down. As you can see, I still have my tape and pegs, my push pins on the back. But now we are going to take some water. See, because the thing is, is that this wood is thick, right? And you want to make sure that you get all the water underneath here. So I'm going to actually take the water, because now I'm actually going to fix the canvas after it's dry or painted, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put some water in here. Yeah, just like that. And I'm going to roll it around. Huh. Yeah. To make sure that I get all on the sides and everywhere. And I'm going to smear it with my hand. You know, because it's kind of sad when you have like a cute little painting. You're like, well, you know, I don't really want to paint over it. Or maybe you do. <laughs> In which case, you're still going to have to tighten it, right? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so let's just see what happens here. So I've gotten it all in the corners everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this now and I'm gonna let her dry and then we're gonna come back and see if we can make this uh, Rick's Museum worthy. So I'll see it a bit. Okay, and we're back. So let's have a look and see how the painty paint, skin tightening, that's what I need is skin tightening. <laughs> the realities of getting old. Let's see how the canvas tightening went. I wish it was that easy, right? You know, if I could just like pour water up under on my skin and tighten it all up. Wouldn't that be a dumb? So as you can see, it is tighter. Yeah, no more lumpy lumps. Yeah, uh-huh. So it's kind of cute, eh? I don't know, let's look at the reflection off of it because I used a pewter color to swipe over the top so it's got a little bit of shine. <laughs> a little bit of shine, it's like a mirror. But yeah, it's kind of cute and as you can see, I'll even go over to this one. It's a lot tighter than it was before, right? So yeah, it is possible to fix a canvas even after you've painted it and make it tighter. Huh. 
Well, I'm not doing a very good job at holding this thing. How's that? See? Nice and tight. Just like a drum. So it looks like now I can ship this to the Riggs Museum after all. Won't they be excited? <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's little painty paint and the tutorial that I did on how to tighten a canvas even after it's been painted when you buy those inexpensive craft store <laughs> canvases that nobody recommends if you're a real artist that you should use. But hey, you know what? We're all learning and we're not all Rockefeller. So, you know, it's cute and who knows what I'll do with this painting at the end of the day. I might even embellish it a little bit, you know, the center of the flower, I don't know. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one and ciao for now.